Okay, but you want something with some grande huevos. I'm just gonna drop the best Xerjo fragrance there is currently on the market and I don't care what anyone else says. I already see the hate comments but um, keep them going. It just makes this fragrance better for everyone who is enjoying it, man. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I am Karim, channel name Smell of Truth and thank you so much for passing by. Today I have for you guys the 7 most perfect 10 out of 10 fragrances for fall season. To not make it too boring, I have 7 categories that I stole from Demi Rowling's video and kind of got inspired by. I changed just a little bit to show some creativity. Let's not talk too much and let's just get this party started. Summer fades like the last sunset's light. Amber and gold turn the world bright. Cool breezes whisper as autumn comes near, wrapping the season in warmth and cheer. We all need that signature fragrance, that blind grab kind of fragrance that we simply pick when we have no time to decide or just having a hard time making a decision. Usually I like to recommend Mikalev's This Year Toxic, but I do not want more than one fragrance per brand in this video. So, sorry bro. Instead I have Roberto Ugolini Blue Suede Shoes. This one is like really a perfect kind of signature fragrance. It's elegant, it's masculine, it's sophisticated, it's classic. Same as a blue watch, you can get some kind of sporty vibe, depends how you dress up and all that side. It all depends on you, you know what I mean? If you wear this one in a suit, it's definitely a classy one. But if you wear this in jogger pants and a Paris Saint-Germain jersey, then obviously this one is gonna be more of a sporty kind of vibe that you project. If you like Parfums de Molly Sadley, but you want something with some grande huevos. Uh, you, you got, you got the, some big testicles. Then this one is for you because this one is a kind of more masculine version of Sadley on steroids. I have never used steroids. It goes in the direction of Sadley, but it has more masculinity to it because it has leather in it. This one fits to every occasion, every situation, every season, except maybe for a hot summer day. Next category, we have rainy days. On a rainy day, I need something uplifting. I need something that I smell and it makes me happy. This fragrance recently after an event at the perfumery Zuskind from the brand Mason Crivelli. I smelled it. I loved it immediately. I just bought it right at the event at the perfumery. Shout outs to Mason Crivelli and Suskind today with Hibiscus Mahajat. I can agree that this one might lean a little bit feminine, but do I care? How about new? Because fragrances is art and art is for everyone. This is what I always said. If you dare to expand your limits that you set yourself up here in your mind, then check this one out guys. I appreciate the floral sweetness of this. It has also some freshness. It can lean a bit powdery, but it's just so freaking good. If a woman would wear this one on a first date kind of day, you know, just get to meet each other and all that stuff, 10 out of 10. <clears throat> Next category is sunny days. Memo Paris winter Palace. This one has some citrus freshness to it. The T note in here is just brutally special and it gives off also this citrus creamy kind of vibe. This one might also lean a little bit feminine but to be honest guys I do not care at all. I just enjoy my fragrances you know what I mean. So this one is not the strongest. This one might be a bit on the weaker side with around six hours of longevity in colder weather for a sunny day. This one is absolutely stunning. Check this one out guys. Special occasions. Whenever you need to attend some sort of special occasion where you need to dress up, where you want to stand out from everyone that is wearing Dior Sauvage and 1 million elixir or whatever, 
or freaking Versace Eros, you know what I mean? You want to stick out, you want to show some gojones. So I had the balls that you dare to expand your limits, that you also have great taste in fragrances and appreciate the art behind it. I'm just gonna drop the best Xerjo fragrance there is currently on the market and I don't care what anyone else says, this is the best one. It's more than words. Rose, oud and some dry fruits. This one is a rose oud at its finest. Maybe it has actually amber in it as well. It's so softly blended, kind of, but it projects like a freaking animal. Ooh, what is that? Smell of success. Maximum of eight sprays if you want to project like an animal, but don't cross the eight sprays. If you don't want to stand out and you want to smell basic as f go wear your dear Sauvage and go s some balls, man. Because this is literally what it does. It sucks. Better than Mia Khalifa. Next category is cozy layering combo and I wish I would have invented this layering combo but it was actually El Secreto that did this. These two fragrances on its own are a 10 out of 10 and what happens if you combine a 10 and a 10? I guess we'll never know. Note Vanille from Mikalev and Ambre Premier from Jovoy. Guys, you have a sophisticated and deathful, is this a word? Another word that I made up, I guess. Ambery fragrance with some fruity notes. Like I think it is, I think they have candied orange in here, if I'm not mistaken. There is some rose in here. There's some patchouli in here. There are some spicy notes in here. Man, this one on its own, 10 out of 10. One of the best ambery fragrances on the market. And then we have Note Vanille. A very, very creamy and boozy vanilla fragrance with some floral twists to it. And this combination just creates the ultimate gourmet kind of scent. With that creamy vanilla that is in here and that booziness together with that ambery, spicy, slightly fruitiness and the depth of the florals that are in both of these fragrances, it combines so, so beautifully and so good. I'm gonna wear this layering duo for, as my scent of the day today. Long lasting and just freaking sexy. I recommend this layering duo when you want to impress your wife, girlfriend, crush. If heaven smells like this, I will be a saint from now on. So Demi had date night and sexy time as two different categories. I just combined them because with this fragrance there will definitely be some action. You will have infinite aura and sex appeal. No one can resist this fragrance because it is the ultimate underwear dropper. Not only for ladies because you're gonna drop some boxes as well on your way to your date or on the date. Whatever you do, you know. If you're gay as hell, just say it, man. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. Man, this fragrance blows my mind harder than a... Sucky, sucky! Attraction Fatale from Reisiger Parfums, aka Miss Curly Fragrance. And don't worry about longevity. This one will last a lot longer than you. That is not funny. And it is not true. I already see the hate comments, but um, keep them going. It just makes this fragrance better for everyone who is enjoying it, man. Because y'all are hyping up fragrances that go in a similar direction than this, but are trashing this simply because Michelle, aka Curly Fragrance, created this. For me, this is quite a double standard and it just shows how freaking biased and stupid you all are. If this would have been in a Parfus de Mali bottle, or in Xerjov bottle, y'all will go crazy for it. The truth hurts, doesn't it, Habsburg? Oh sure, maybe not as much as jumping on a bicycle with a seat missing, but it hurts. This one is strong, masculine and seductive. Spicy, woody, floral, and broxen-ish, and boozy freaking masterpiece. I told her before, and I do not mean to sim for her, but She's making me a hard time. 
<laughs> Jokes aside guys, people smell this in the air. <laughs> no, you don't. No, no, you can't go in there. No, no, stay out of there. That's my special area. And as soon as they come closer, you need to grab the opportunity and just RKO them. <laughs> if they literally don't fall for it before or after the RKO, you're clearly doing something wrong, man. So maybe practice this on your smaller siblings. Ale, come here, I need to test something. You're breaking my balls. The last category is the cold season fragrance. So you either need a gourmand or something very, very dark. And because we already had that layering duo where Note Vanille is in it, and Note Vanille for me is a gourmand because it smells like a creamy and boozy kind of dessert, I would say we go for the dark one. And for the dark one, we have, of course, one of my favorite notes. Tobacco. Tabac Nomade by Houbigan Paris. One of the best tobacco fragrances on the market, period. I enjoy this one so much. And the cap is freaking strong and heavy, man. This stuff is dark, sweet, spicy. And leathery and sometimes this one gives me also a booziness although there is no boozy notes listed according to the brand but it just smells like when you are at the jazz club drinking some whiskey having a cigar and honey to it with some spices and you're wearing a leather jacket it's a masculine old money vibe kind of fragrance and Honestly, I really like the style of Hubiga Paris because Ambre de Abysses, Ab I don't know how to spell this, French is not my main language. The only thing I know in French and I do not even spell it correctly is Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? So don't play around with the kind of guy that wears this fragrance. With this one, you will stick out in fall and also in winter season. So make sure to check it out. All right, guys, this was today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which one is your go-to fall scent or what would you recommend? Or just comment cucumber, as always. It helps with the algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And thanks for watching. Stay healthy and see you next time. Bye-bye. Josef Riesticht, hamme. Het is niet zo alles nu dat zij een goede scheidsrijk houden. Het is hoofd niet los te vallen. Genau zo wie doe, Jozef. Anyway.